Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Just before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you for 4,000 subscribers. That is absolute madness. So thank you all so much for all the likes, the comments, and of course the subscriptions. It does mean an awful lot to me, so thank you. Now we are rapidly approaching 5,000 subscribers. Now, a lot of you have asked for a 5,000 subscribers special. Now, if you would like one, could you tell me what I can do? Because I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> so please let me know, because I, I really don't have any idea. Pushing that to one side for a second, what are we actually doing today? Well, today we have a subscriber suggestion, this time from someone called Ryan383, who is a long-term subscriber, so thank you, Ryan. And he has asked for a trading system where you can trade up to multiple items. So that's exactly what we have today. So here is my simple item swapper. Now, as you can see with the redstone, it is extremely small, nice and compact, and actually surprisingly easy to make as well. Now, as you can see here, we have four item filters. That means we have four different items we can swap, but these bits here are completely tileable. So you can carry this on as long as you want, and you can practically swap any block in the game. <laughs> as long as it stacks the 64, you can swap it, and that's fine. So all we have to do is come up to the top here, place in our payment item. For example, let's put in an emerald. You can put a whole stack and you see it doesn't move, but as soon as we press the button, it takes one, as you can see, and then it's going to give us in return a swapped item. There we are, so a slime ball. A slime ball? A slime ball. Um, if we put in an iron, press the button, see it takes it. What is it going to give us in return? It gives us a not a shell. And so forth and so forth with the other stuff. So for gold, it's going to give us a heart of the sea. And for diamond, it gives us an eye of ender. Of course, you can change your payment options and you can change these to whatever you like. I just did random items. <laughs> now, in Ryan's comment, he wanted to know if you could vary the amount of reward given when you give an item. So for example, if I put a diamond in at the moment, it's only going to give me one eye of ender. But he wanted to know if there's a way that you could change the redstone slightly so you can get three eyes of ender. And yes, there is a way, but I'll show you at the end of the tutorial. So as I said before, this build is completely tileable. So the number at the top is the item for the whole build, so the four item filters. But if you want to add another item filter and sorter, you just add the bit at the bottom, the ones in the brackets, okay? So for this build, you're going to need six sticky pistons, three observers, one repeater, nine comparators, six droppers, 20 hoppers, nine redstone dust, one redstone torch, five slabs, 72 payment items, but that's 18 of each. So I'm going to be using 18 iron, 18 gold, 18 emerald, and 18 diamond. 16 random blocks you're never going to place in your system. I'm going to be using renamed dirt, six chests, one stone button, 22 blocks for redstone to go on, and then however blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start this build, we need to place down a double chest like this directly on the floor level. And then we need a block next to it like that, with a button on it. Then we need a block down, and a slab. Then we need a flooring block here. Remove this block, and on the slab we need some dust. Underneath this block we need a sticky piston facing downward. And then an observer, going toward the left. So the dot should be going toward the left, and the face should be looking out toward the right. Then a block here, one down, remove this block, and we need a repeater here on four tick delay. Then we need a sticky piston on the side of that repeater facing upward, then a block here, one out, remove this block, and then place an, a, I nearly said an observer, a hopper going toward this block like that. So you can see the angle is going toward the block and we can remove that block. So what this circuit does, it just means that we, when we place even a stack of items in here, this hopper is only ever gonna take one item. As you can see, 63, and there's our one. Okay, after you've done that, now we can make our item filters. So what I want you to do is to crouch and place a block like this, and then three more. So one, two, three, four, and then one to the left. Remove these blocks like this, and then we want a hopper going toward this block. Then again, crouch and place some more hoppers like this. One, two, three. So there should be a line going in toward the end, and then one going toward the left. Then we want to place a temporary block here, and one out. 
remove their block and have a line all along. Then we'll grab some more hoppers and place them going into these blocks like this. Then underneath these blocks we need some slabs. One, two, three, four. And we can remove these blocks. On top of these slabs we need four comparators. Then we need four more blocks. Tempe block here and one down. Remove that block. One here and one to the left. Remove this one. Four along on both of these. On all these blocks we just placed we need dust. Like so. Then we need sticky pistons and we want to place them on the side of these blocks facing upward. Okay, then we want to place a temporary block here, one up, remove that block, and we need a line of hoppers going toward that block. Like so. Next, we need to fill our item filter. So what I want you to do is to grab 16 random blocks. So a block you're never going to place in your item filter. That's why I've used dirt and I've just renamed it because I never, I know I'm not going to place an item, especially dirt, called subscribe into my item filter. And then you need 18 of each payment. Okay. So what I want you to do is come to this first hopper going toward this comparator and you need to place your first payment, all 18, and then you need to place four of your random blocks like that. So 18 and then four. And you want to do the same for every single one. So 18 gold, then four. Next, we need 18 emerald and then four. And then 18 diamond and four. Now that we have our item filter in place, now we can just finish off all the redstone. And actually, it's very easy from now on. So all we have to do is firstly place a line of blocks like this on the side of these hoppers. Then on top of them, coming away from the hoppers, we need comparators. Like so. Then we need a block here and one up. Remove this block and again a line up with them like that. And then we need droppers facing upward on the top of these blocks like that. Okay, then we need to grab another dropper and place it here, again facing upward, and place another one here. Now if you are struggling to place them, just make sure you are crouching. Then again, crouch, we need a hopper here, going toward that dropper. Then another one here, going toward that hopper. And then a line of them like this. And then one here, coming from this one to here. So it should be going round like this. All the way round, round here, into this one, and then into this bottom dropper. Then we need a observer facing downward on the side of this dropper, like so. And on that observer, we need a comparator coming away from that dropper. Then a block here, torch, and then we need one more observer going up on the top of that torch, like that. Okay, so the face should be facing toward the torch. And that surprisingly is all the rest of them completely done, apart from placing some chests here. And then we could have another chest. Actually, let's place it up this side. Then we can place another chest here. And a hopper going in between them. And that surprisingly is all the rest of them completely done. So all we need to do now is place a flooring in. So let's just place blocks all around like this. Okay. And then we need to work out what we are going to be trading for. So this bit here, this section here was iron. So for one iron, let's have some Nautilus shells. Of course, it doesn't need to be Nautilus shell, just being random. You can do, <laughs> you can do whatever you like. Uh, this one was gold, so heart of the sea. This one was emerald, so let's go slime ball. And this one was the diamond one, so let's go eye of ender. Okay, and then we can now test it out. So if I press, 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 <laughs> if I place in some iron like this, press the button, it should just take one iron, as you can see, and it should give, give us a Nautilus shell, as you can see. If I place it in an emerald, it should give us a heart of the sea. Oh no, it was it slime ball. Yeah, heart of the sea was gold. <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> Here's a check, it gives us a heart of the sea. Yes, it does. That's very good. And then for a diamond, 
it should give us an eye vendor. There we are. <laughs> now we have the build all in place, what if we want to change the amount we give back? So at the moment, when we give a diamond, we get one eye of ender. But if, what if we want to change it so that you get two eye of ender? What do you do then? Well, firstly, you actually need to change the redstone slightly. What you need to do is remove this block here with the torch on it, and instead, we have a piston like that. Okay, and if we want two to be given, all we need to do is remove these blocks here place an observer here, and place a block. And that's it. Now you're going to get two of I Eye of Ender when you give a diamond. So if I give the diamond, that diamond's going to go. And that's going to fire two all the way into here and up into our chest, as you can see. The problem is when you want more than two. So for example, if we want three Eye of Ender when we place a diamond in, then it gets a little bit more tricky, especially because we've made it completely tileable. If it wasn't tileable, it'd be really easy. So unfortunately, the answer is quite large. <laughs> what you need to do is place a comparator back and literally just run a repeater like this into a, a block. And then another one. I know this is ugly, I'm sorry, but this is the, because it's tileable, because it's completely tileable. This is really the, the easiest way, unfortunately. And then have droppers facing up and have hoppers going like that, and then our eyes of endo in here. I know it's ugly, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this can be completely tileable, so you can have them right next to each other, and that won't affect it. So now when I press a diamond in here, press the button, hopefully we'll get free eye of ender going up into our chest. As you can see. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like and if you really loved it make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one and i'll see you later bye